Now, Coach Anderson says that he doesn't really pay much attention to the BCS standings when they come out each week. Do you guys back at the department have the TV fired up? Are you looking to see what kind of climb you make week to week? I think it varies by, by guys. I think, uh, yeah, there's guys that definitely want to pay attention to it and, you know, are tracking who needs to lose or whatever. But um, most of the guys um, just take care of business. It doesn't really affect how we approach things. And, yeah, I fall in that latter category. You watch that each week. Did you watch it last night to see if you made any kind of significant move? Nah, I don't think. I don't watch it personally. I'm sure a lot of guys do, but I don't watch it only because, I mean, they, they are what they are. At the end of the day, they don't mean very much. Mm -hmm. If you have a big win and then go out and, and don't do the same thing next week. So I think as players, we really have to focus on that. I mean, the only thing that we can truly control is whether we win or lose a game. Uh, the rest is up to, you know, obviously the humans and then the BCS and all, all of those. I don't know. I don't like to get into it because I really don't know exactly how it all works. But, you know, I just see a, you know, a little number by our name. Sure. And, you know, I don't know. I, you, just, you just like to hope as a player that they take into consideration uh, a lot of the things <laughs> that we've been through this year uh, when it's all said and done. And I think if that's the case, we'll, we'll be somewhere we, we really want to be. Does this season uh, – does where you go for a bowl dictate how successful the season will be coming up three Rose Bowls? Not at all. Uh, just like someone asked me, you know, this going to a Rose Bowl and only being an eight-win team, you know. Sure. You know, that that didn't mean anything. At the end of the day, you know, we fought through the hardships that we had to to get to that Rose Bowl. Um, this year will be a totally separate entity in itself. Uh, we fought through hardships that we had to to, to be in a position that we are now. To, to, to have a gripe about the BCS, you know, because if, if we don't win, we have no gripe. We're just any other team out there. I think as long as we continue to win, um, things will co continue to go our way. And I think at the end of the, at the, end of the day, if they, they look at our full body of work, we'll be somewhere. Coach Anderson says he doesn't get wrapped up in the BCS standings when they come out week to week. How about you and the guys at your place? I mean, do you turn on the TV, try to figure out how what kind of move you've made? Um, you know, honestly, I don't really try to pay attention to it as much. All I know is that we can go out every week and try and win football games and, you know, take it from there. So uh, whatever happens at the end of the year, you know, that's out of our control, really. So I'm just going to go take every play and, you know, just try to keep winning and hope it works out. You might have been asked this already today, but, I mean, does it, you know, coming off of three Rose Bowls, this program, would not playing in a BCS game change the, you know, how people in on the team, you know, in the stands view the success of the season? You know, I think there's a lot of great bowl games um, out there. You know, obviously the BCS is really what you aim for and everything. But, uh, you know, all the other ones, you know, they're, they're right there. And, you know, it gives you an opportunity to play a little bit different competition, which is uh, always a good thing. So no matter where we end up, we just got to be prepared for it and go in, you know, and hopefully win. Thank you.